Giga, congratulations. That was one of the most grittiest wins I think I've ever seen. How are you feeling other than probably a little bit tired? Well, I'm pretty glad that I have my voice because I was shouting so loud that um, it, I'm glad it's here. Um, that's, and because of it, I can thank you for support because really this match was crazy and uh, without the energy on the stadium, I think it would be really hard to win it. Let's go back to the first set because you saved nine set points. You didn't win the first set. Really? Ooh. No, yeah, it was nine. It's a lot. You, I'm just wondering what you told yourself early in the second because you came back from a set down in your previous match and how much confidence did that match give you in this match particularly? Well, you know, in first set, I think my mistake was um, that I, I don't know, I, I had had so many break points that uh, I felt like I missed my chances because she br has broken me on her first break point and I had like, I don't know, five. Yeah. So I was pretty annoyed and I think that was a mistake because I should have been focused on the future, you know, on the next ball. And that's why uh, in second set I did exactly that because, you know, I mean, these are easy things to do, but they are actually working, you know. So basically, yeah, um, I felt like she's playing so fast that I can't um, be tight, you know, so I had to finish my, um, yeah, my, my forehands basically. And yeah, I mean, I don't know, I just focused on that and it was, it was enough, but she, she played like so great. I, I could even see that even when it seemed like the, balls, the ball is going out, it suddenly went in and I was <laughs> in the first set, you know, so. Um, yeah, I mean, that was my mistake because I didn't run, but I felt like she's in a good shape and she can play anything. Yeah, she played a fantastic match, so congratulations to Kaya. Yeah. We know that you do do a lot of work with your mindset as well, and your team have put a lot of work with you. How much did you have to draw on your team today to help you get through this match? Um, <laughs> the thing is that uh, I'm still at that stage when they tell me something, I keep like, I don't know, discussing stuff with them. So uh, basically in really important moments, I try to focus on myself and trust my intuition. And uh, they're like, their job is like to be behind me and kind of, I feel that their support, they don't have to say anything. They, they don't have to, I don't know, give me tips. Obviously they can't give me tips on grass. <laughs> but, so they didn't. Um, but, um, you know, I know I can lean on them and I know they believe in me. So basically in, after my match against uh, Sorana, um, yeah, they told me that they believed I'm gonna win even though I lost the first set. So I remembered that today in the tiebreaker. So yeah, give me a lot. And just last question, because it's hot and you have been out here for three hours, but I'm sure there are a lot of Polish fans watching back home. Do you have a message for everyone back home? Oh my God, uh, I would write an essay, you know? <laughs> um, yeah, I just want to thank you, you know? Uh, it's, it's pretty hard to describe it, but I know that uh, Polish fans are watching me, that they're really involved, you know? I can see that on social media. Hopefully, uh, when the COVID is going to be over, we're going to be able to, I don't know, do some meetings or stuff. But obviously, the fans that are here, um, I mean, it's just great, you know. Um, it's, as I said, it's giving me a lot of energy and motivation, so yeah. Well, congratulations. We can't wait to see you in the semifinals. Ladies and gentlemen, Iga Fiontek. Very emotional and excited, understandably so. Her country won Beniska Radwanska, who was also a semi finalist in 2014 and 16. But this is a real step up, isn't it, for a 20 year old who's still making her way on the, the tennis scene. But uh, she is gritty, she's determined, and uh, she wants more. She, she really does. And I remain so impressed that players, after playing that long, can come out there and answer questions in their second or third language. And I mean, it's impressive all the way around. You could tell by how she spoke that, you know, she thinks in a very detailed fashion that she is a bit of a perfectionist, as she's talked about. And sometimes that can be tough, you know, to relax and make adjustments in the moment. But she was able to do that in this match when it mattered most. She started adjusting her game, getting a little more aggressive and 
forceful in her court position, hitting with a bit more depth. And I think those are the types of that's the type of tennis that will give her even more confidence as she gets into more and more of these big matches. She's already a Grand Slam champion, but she wants more. Clearly not satisfied, and she's going to have another shot in her first Australian Open semifinal.